Welcome back to our module number 14. This module we look into network address translation. So we have five chapters here. So let's look into the basic what is NAT overview. So why do we need NAT? So first we look into motivation behind NAT. As the number of internet users increases, public IPv4 addresses become scarce. What's worse, even a location of these addresses has resulted in severe shortage of available public IPv4 address in some area. Remember that in our IP, we only have 2 to the power of 32. So that equivalent about 4.2 billion IP address that we have. So the world population is already close to 7 billion. So if every one of us use the IPv4 at the same time, we will run our IP. So the motivation here is to overcome the public IP shortage, okay, which is the V4, IPv4 address shortage, is necessary to use transition technology. But again, this is one of the technology we use. Uh, right now, we all know that we also have the IPv6. But we are not going to uh, look into IPv6 at this moment because majority of us are still in IPv4. So here we have the internet user who want to go into the internet. When you go to internet, you do need to use IPv4 and we are running out of IPv4 now. So that is the motivation behind why we need network address translation. Now let's look into what we call the private IP addresses. Before we look into the private IP, first we already mentioned we need to have IP address. So we do have public and private. So public IP address are managed and allocated by dedicated organization and can be used for direct communication over the internet. So the organization who manage is called IANA or Internet Assigned number authority okay so that is the organization who manage public IP addresses whereas the private IP addresses can be used by organization or individual randomly on internal network so the keyword here is internal network but cannot be used for direct communication on the internet so remember here the keyword here is for you to go to internet you need to use public IP. If you want to use for internal network, then you can use a private IP address. You can use it as a comp company, organization, or individual. So here we have different type of a class, class A, class B, and class C of a private IP address. So the private IP address here, we have a class A, which is from 10, 0, 0, 0 to 10, 255, 255, 255. That's for class A. Then we have class B of 172, 16, 0, 0 to 172, 31, 255, 255. And lastly, we have 192, 0, 0 to 192.168.255.255. So remember, for the internet, we need to use the public IP for a small organization or even big enterprise. You also can actually use private IP. Okay, so how we can use private IP yet we can connect to the internet. This is where the technology called NAT will help. So here we look into NAT implementation. So NAT or network address translation translates IP addresses in an IP packet is widely used on live network and is usually deployed on network egress devices such as router or firewall. Typical NAT application scenario would like this. Private addresses are used on private network. It can be enterprise or home. So in this diagram, you can see that here we have the private network. And uh, you can see also that the source is 192.168.1.10. And uh, this network is basically is our private address and NAT is deployed on egress device 
For traffic from internal network to external network, NAT translate the source address of the data packet into a specific public addresses. Now, if you go back into this diagram, you can see that here I have a source IP address of 192.168.1.10. And this user would like to go into this network, which is 200.1.2.3. Here we have the public IP. This is a public IP. So the question here is, a private IP will not be able to connect to the internet directly. We learned that on the previous slide. So for us to overcome this, we need to use network address translation. So the router will perform the network address translation who translate you notice that the router have two interfaces one which is the internal another one which is the external if you look carefully here the source ip which is from 192.168.1.10 it being translated to 122.1.2.1 here we are translating from a private IP address into a public IP address on the router. You get this? So in essence, this is how NAT works. So it translates from the uh, private IP into a public IP. For traffic from external network to an internal network, NAT tra translates the destination address of the data packet. Now this is important. As you can see that just now we are translating the source, okay, from a private to public. Now you look here is that the destination is 122.2.1. It go to NAT and you notice over here, the destination has been translated back into the private IP address. So NAT allow you to translate a source from private to the public for the egress, that means you are accessing outside. And for the ingress from the destination, which is the reply packet to the destination, it is translate the destination from a public IP into the private IP. So by doing this, you are conserve the public IP v4 address. So in essence, using the private network, you can use a private IP and share a single public IP address. Hence, you are saving public IP v4.